money, plenty money, plenty money, I want to. Vacation for Bahamas, vacation for Dubai, Dubai. Plenty money, plenty money, I want to. Yo, what up, what up, this is your boy King Siri straight from Busy Home Beat. And in today's video, I'm just going to show you how I did mix this Afro beat song over here. Um, yes, so if you have any questions, you can just comment down there. If you want to learn mixing and mastering too, just contact me through the number in my description over there. Then um, we'll just get into business. If you want me to mix and master your song for you too, um, just link up through my WhatsApp number and um, you will talk business. Okay, so we're always in my time. If you are new to the channel and you've not yet subscribed, please subscribe to support your boy. Like and also comment to this video. And your time will never be wasted. And if you are old too and you've been enjoying and you've not, please do your boy a favor by um, subscribing. And I mean, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, let's, so let's just get into the video. Let's play some part of the song. Then after that, I'll just break it down and explain certain things to you over here in your home studios. Mm -hmm. listen to it very beautiful song so if i'm supposed to solo the vocals and mute the instrument this is what we have for the role for the vocals mm -hmm. say you with that yeah and it's your boy king zero is under uh -huh, yeah at my age my mommy they work cool at my age my puppy they work cool they yes something cool and nice so let me just what i did here is um I created a group for the lead vocals and all the two backings and then for the background vocals, the back and yes, I think they call it harmonies or something like that. Yes, the harmonies and the rest. I created another group for it. Um, yes, just to separate everything from me. So for the lead vocals, this is the preset that I'm having on it. My chain, I have C1 gate on it and what I, I did put on it first is um, my auto tune. And if you have been following my tutorial, you could actually know that I don't like to put too much auto tune on my vocals. I just want it to be natural. You get it? And even nowadays, if you listen to this um, commercial songs coming out each and every time, they don't actually use auto tune all that much like before. You get it? So try and accommodate yourself with um, this new era stuff. So for me, I don't like too much auto tune on my vocals. Depends on the artist, what the artist want, but for me, I don't like too much of it. So, the routine speed around this and the key is minor, F minor, and I change the input type to auto tenor. Okay. So, on the lead vocals, the first thing aside the auto tune is um, the gate, and they know the work of the gate. So, I put it around negative 34, and I selected the preset, this nice and tight vocal, then I, I just the treasure so that some part of the vocals wouldn't be i mean just going out you get it yes so the gate blocks some background noises if your room is not treated so after this then i just put an eq on it this is how i did eq the vocal so if i'm supposed to mute everything with the exception of this and uh, i mute my reverb and stuff the raw vocal sound like this and it's your boy king zero is on the uh -huh, yeah at my age, my mommy they work cool. At my age, my puppy they work cool. This thing I see out in my heart, just the bend no. Without the EQ, sounds like this. At my age, my puppy they work cool. This thing I see out in my heart, just the bend no. I want them to enjoy. I'm a small boy for me big boy. And spray them cash, show them for relax, so them no go work cool. When it comes to mixing, mixing is all about cleaning things. You get it, making things sound good and right. It's not about changing certain things to anything. The vocals, if it it has been recorded good and properly, trust me, you don't have to be doing too much on it. You just have to understand that you are just cleaning certain things for it to fit in a bit and sound okay for you. 
okay you can't just perform magic when the vocal recording from the foundation wasn't recorded properly i always say this just record your vocals properly make sure it's done nice and good then the effect and other stuff that you add to it um per what you think is not sounding right and you're just using the effect to correct it um will actually work for you you get it so you perform it well and you know that some frequencies are not actually working well for you use the eq to work on that some background noises use the gate or ns1 yeah like anything just to block that those background noises compressor to make sure that um the vocal waves yeah some parts are actually bigger than the others so you have to make sure your dynamic range is actually accurate by using the compressor to do that just understand why you are putting certain uh, effects on it you get it yeah so the compressor on the the settings for the first compressor i don't like to use one compressor because i want um the workload to be i mean for the compressor to be um divided i don't want one compressor to have all the load so if two compressors it's okay for me most of times yes i don't like to use one compressor so the compressor on it this how it sounds again oh money planes there is on the uh -huh, yeah at my age my mommy they work go cool. at my age my puppy they work go cool. this thing i see ya in my heart without a compressor at just the band no i want them to enjoy so you can see i want them to enjoy those places were actually down and up at just the band no i want them to enjoy you get it by when the compressor you know this one it and i see ya in my heart just the band no i want them to enjoy okay so these are the settings for it. My ratio is around 2.50. Um, fast attack of 5.24, then fast release, and um, the threshold is negative 25. You get it? Yes. So these are the settings for the compressor. You need not to copy the same settings because the instrument together with the vocals sound different from your kind of project that you are doing. So just understand the work of everything and what you think is not actually working some of you always say um some people contact me and always say that but their music when they mix and do all those things it doesn't sound like music it sounds like um it's not music i mean uh, basically it doesn't sound like music and i think i have to do a tutorial about that for you guys because um at a certain point in time when i was starting this thing i was also encountering all these challenges and um, i think for the solution I can do one or two tutorial for you guys but if you want to learn mixing and mastering tutorial um sound put everything about music um you can just contact me so that we can go through the process and learn together okay everybody needs anyone nobody is perfect in this music industry or anything what an engineer other engineer will do that will sound okay and nice with other engineer will listen and will think that Maybe there should be some changes to this and that. But there is no perfect mix in the world. But what matters is that the things sound good and you like it. And yes, that's what matters the most. Okay. So, the next thing that I did here is EQ the low ends with this stock plugin from um, Cubase Pro 10. Yes, Cubase 10 Pro. Yes, 10 Pro. So, I caught the low ends here. Then the, I boosted the highs. And just to make sure you can see, if you listen to the beat, um the beat is not having too many highs so i just wanted the highs to come inside so that it will cut through the beat for me so with this eq on it without the eq that's how it sounds then i'll play with the eq at my age my mommy they work cool at my age my puppy they work cool this thing i see ya in my heart and with the eq on it at my age my mommy they work cool at my age my puppy they work cool this thing I see ya in my heart Just the band no, I want them to enjoy I'm a small boy for me big boy You can see that it's bringing the highs a little bit up Because yes, I thought the vocals was too dark and um, it was too muddy for me So I have to make sure that I bring the highs a little bit I don't like to be boosting certain things using the EQ I like to cut out the bad frequencies and make sure I leave it like that But this time around, the way the beat sounded for me I had to make sure that um I'm getting some highs in it yes and uh, because i boosted the highs i use the dsi just to make sure the the siblances those CSA words have to just um get out of the mix you get it so without the dsi that's what we're having now uh -huh, yeah at my age my mommy they were cool at my age my puppy they were dsi on it they were cool this thing i see ya them just they bend no i want them 
Them my small boy for be big boy. And spray them cash show them for relax so them no go work cool again oh man. Nice one. So the next thing is um I put another compressor on it just to tighten up certain things in it. And this in the settings is um 2.05 negative 24.2 db for the treasure i didn't do anything here okay in the attack and the release i did touch it a little bit fast attack slow release i didn't boost any i didn't bring any volume up so that's what you actually have to understand here with the raw vocals without any effect on it together with the beat let's see how it sounds So you can actually hear the vocals if not too much of it you can actually hear the vocals and also hear the piece so that's what i always talk about that whenever you are recording make sure your input gain is actually set properly um you can control it sometimes the artist will like to shout so when you are listening to it um, as you are recording and you just have to make sure you are having um your on your sound card the input gain of the mic you know you just have to control it when the artist shout try to shout then you just have to bring it down a little bit if he's singing at a very low then you just bring it up just control it so that you can have a very good nice recording and make sure that the recording you wouldn't have your vocals to be too low then you'll be just using other effects just boosting them up you get it yes when you just have something like this a balance something like this um when during the mix you wouldn't struggle with the making sure that it fits perfectly in your beat you get it but if you try to make sure you record your vocals to be lower than your beat um balancing it with the beat becomes a little bit harder because you can't even uh, from the start you didn't even um balance it so how can, are you going to use the effect just to balance it like that sometimes if you're experienced enough you can actually do it but if you are not experienced like you're a beginner like this um this is the tip that i can give you just make sure you record and make sure your vocals it properly right from the beginning of the recording so that when you just start adding effect in it it, it starts adding volume up then you just back down those volumes using compressors and everything you get it yes trust me and it will work for you so with the effect on it all the effect on it together with the beat um, this is how it sounds now yes and the next thing that i did i created an fx and i didn't put the reverb straight on it because i wasn't feeling lazy if i'm feeling lazy then i'll just put it straight on it and just balance it so i just created an fx and so in qbs here qbs 10 you right click any empty space or any space around this place then add fx track then you select your um fx the uh, plugin that you just want to use as a send effect then after that you just move to this side so i just put it on the group i didn't go to the track itself then activated it like this so this is what we are having if it is on it the reverb and these are the settings for the reverb where where is it okay yes these are the settings for the reverb so with the reverb on it uh -huh, yeah. at my age my mommy they work cool at my age my puppy they work cool this thing i see out in my heart just they bend no i want them to enjoy i'm a small boy for me big boy and spray them cash show them for real and i put a delay to on it it's my mommy they work cool at my age my puppy they work cool yeah, so for the delay part two i think i use this echo boy yes settings i didn't want too much of it so i caught the feedback and that's why you can't actually hear but you can hear it a little bit at my age my mommy they work cool they work you can hear it yes so these are the settings for the lead the same thing applies to the background vocals with my auto tune on it then i have um a c1 gate on the way this one negative 33 i didn't choose any presets yes um my eq this is how i did eq the background vocals 
so without the effect on it i think it's the same thing compressor to on it and i have my dsr um eq again cutting some of the low ends of the background um and also another compressor again negative i did compress it too much because it was um a whole lot yes and the next one is um ozone this is an imager you get it just to broaden um the vocals so if you listen to the backgrounds only the back is only money plenty money plenty money i want to Vacation for Bahamas, vacation for Dubai, Dubai. Plenty money, plenty money, I don't want to. Yes, it shouldn't be actually perfect. But what I did here is I panned them this to 70 and this around right 70, and I lower the volume around negative 4, negative 4. And this two is um 55 to the left, and 55, 51 to the right, negative 5 and negative 4 so that's what i actually do and um, i lower the volume a little bit so and on the group 2 as i showed you the effect the chain on the other side sounds plenty money plenty money i don't want to and i had this effects and the same um but I put too much of reverb on it and um, a little bit of delay on it just to differentiate between the lead vocal and the background vocal. So with the lead vocal on it, this is what we have now. Money, plenty, money, plenty, money, I don't want to. Vacation for Bahamas, vacation for Dubai, Dubai. Plenty, money, money. plenty, money, I don't want to. This thing to just telephone. I put studio, yes, and I selected telephone and adjust it a little bit. That's all I did. So, together with everything, now this is what we are having. Let me start from here. So, we listen to everything. Say, mm -hmm. so that's what i did over here so if you have any question that you want to ask or anything that you want to add just comment down there and i'll get back to you make sure you subscribe to support your boy for any businesses just contact me through my number in the description and i'll just get back to you it's your boy can see you straight from busy home beat yes and i'm out